Hello everyone, <clears throat> how you doing? Right, um, just a little job for my friend, he's just moving house and the house he's moving into, he got a couple of gates on the front but they're not very wide, only just about 8 foot so he's asked me to lengthen the gates so what I'm doing is I'm cutting cutting it down there and then adding 370 mil in which will add three bars and then welding that bit back on so that will make it um, just over 10 foot wide I was going to go exactly a foot but it makes it awkward that then that would be longer on one of them so if I do it exactly three that gives it the right amount so I'll show you how I just started cutting one of the one of the gates open now so here's one of them and like I said I've cut, cut this one off the end of there so the original idea was um, just to go a foot but it would make an uneven spacing so if I go th three bars one will be there some marks on the table one there and then another one there and then weld that bit back on the end and I bought some bought the exact finials so they'll go on the ends so like I say if I'd done it just a foot the, the spacing would be wrong so it's it's easier to actually do it three so that's now gonna go in there I've just got to mark up all the all the hole spacing and just drill the drill the holes I'll make do all three of them and then put them in the mill all together and drill them all at the same time so right that's what I'm doing I'll um I'll see you in a little bit as I get further. Cheers for now. Okay, I've cut the bars. Um, they'll all be the same size, obviously. The, the bottom one doesn't need holes in it. They'll just... Uh, I don't know, they could do. I suppose it could. It wouldn't hurt, would it? So what I'm going to do is clamp them all together. Let me just, um, let me just put you down here somewhere. I've got I haven't got it on the tripod so sorry we'll put it down there. <coughs> together and then we can drill them all exactly the same. Right. Yeah, that's um, let's just tighten that up a bit. Not very tight. Righty ho. We'll just weld those together on the ends. Put a glue on. Right, at least we know all the holes will be in the right place. Okay, I'll um, I'll take you in the other shed and put put you on the stand. Let's 
Let's um, see you in a minute. Right. First of all, I just want to get centered. Right, I've got a couple of lines marked on here, got three in all, and then I'll use the
over to a 16 mil drill. I can't bore you with any more drilling holes. I'll see you in a bit. I'll come back when I'm measuring up and marking and all the rest of it. Cheers for now. Okay, right let's see if I can zoom in this thing again. There we go. Getting used to this camera now. Stop. Right. That's that bit on, and um, lined up. <coughs> so all we've got to do now is uh, push these, these through and figure out where they're going to be cut. What I want to 
do is do it a little bit smaller than I'm going to cut a little bit off the end of this finial so that will fit in neatly with those so I don't want to take take it all off but these will go through and these holes a little bit bigger than 16 get those cut off and then these have got twists in the bars which the trouble is you've got to buy they do these bars in one meter lengths with two twists so you cut off that bit for each one but they I can't remember how much they were now they're quite expensive just for that little bit to, and to be honest I don't really think it's worth it just for this so I've just got some square bar which I'm going to put in which um, will do the job. I think it's only close to space there so that if you've got a pet, an animal, dog or something, don't come through that bit. That's what they're for. So Anyway, we'll get those cut off, welded in and um, then we'll sort the finials out. So I'll see you in a bit again. Okie dokie, oh, see if this will zoom again. There we go. Right, um, that's it then. I've cleaned up the metal and uh, I just weld these in place. This is just um, weld anti-splatter. It stops the splatter sticking to the metal. So you've got to try and clean it all off. That's what that's for. For those that didn't know.
Any trouble with these machine mark smaller MIG welders than things aren't very long with cables. Can be a bit of a pain. Well, there you go, finished. We've got to paint them now. <laughs> so, that's a bit bigger. Give them a bit more room to manoeuvre. So, they've grown that much. Right, job jobbed. Give him a coat of paint, take them back for him and we can put these, got the posts ready to go in so I haven't done that yet because we weren't sure where the gates were going to fit so but anyway that's it. Thanks for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.